Okay, so you might remember this place, it's Cookie Shed in Tassie. We were here a couple of years ago. Um, Cookie's got the shed up and going at the moment. And uh, that's one of his boats there. This is another one he's building. I'm going to build uh, the Eastport nesting dinghy, which comes in a kit. Um, get a book of instructions here. Step-by-step uh, -step business. Comes with hardware. Uh, got there's a big long box here that came in. So today the first set part is I'm gluing up these doublers. So um, this will be interesting. It's not exactly ready to assemble. It's um, route cut on the router, not on a laser, like it said on the website. And it's got all the bridging, the tabbing still on there that needs to be sanded off, which I'm doing now. So this will be a step-by-step -step video. Clamping them down on the bench seems to be a bit easier without using a million clamps that we don't have. Okay, day two here in Cookie's Shed. We've got the bulkheads glued together with the doublers there. Um, we've epoxied in the bolts for joining the two halves of the dinghy together. And now we're gonna start assembling the hull. These are the pre-cut panels that have come along and as you can see here it's still got the tabbing on from the router which I've got to come. There's another thing that seems to be an issue here is the, these doublers here. You can see it comes past the transom up here. It's in, this is where a fillet goes in. So, the tip and these have to be cut off here. There's nothing on it. Cookie's going for it with the chisel now. After we've epoxied it on so it's not real flash. A bit of hue and pine here, look at this. 65 mil thick. Nige from the marina dropped it off for Cookie yesterday. Ah, right. So not much of a day yesterday, I only spent a couple of hours here, but she's starting to take shape. Um, you can see this is the stitch and glue method here. Uh, it's wired, twitched through there, and it's tied under there. The uh, bow of the transom in, that's just a, a bracing bulkhead for the time being. Here's the joining bulkhead with the clamps in it ready to roll so it's uh starting to take shape no, it's light as a feather roll her over that's it fellas good job <laughs> Rightio, so now we've got all the wires in and I don't know if you can see it, but we've glued in between each wire. It's called tack gluing, you can see it over here, in between there and in between there, all over the boat. And uh, this morning I'll take out all these wires that are holding the planks on and I'll fill it all of these with a, a thicker mix of epoxy and let that go off, as well as do my washing. Okay, back to work. It's Monday morning, day five. Of course, my days only consist of a few hours as the epoxy has to dry. As you can see, I've removed most of the wires here and we've filled up the gaps with epoxy, um, epoxy filler mix. Now, it's a bit hard to get a good look at it. It's big fillet here because the bottom's gonna have a, a glass laid over it. We've still got the temporary 
bulkhead in here. We've still got the main bulkhead that stays in there. This is where she gets cut in half. And the um, transom and the bow are still wired in. Today I'll be flipping it over after a bit of sanding and filleting the transom and bow in so they're glued in and um, that'll be the day then I have to wait for the epoxy to go off once more. All masked up. Ready to roll. Hello, what are we up to? It's day six I think. Um, got these fillets in here. Uh, that mixture's uh, darker as you can see and it's got the microfiber and it's got some of this uh, wood dust in there to, to darken it up. That's in there, in both sides there and in there. So today I'll be cutting all these wires. These wires stay in, sanding it back the planks and I'll... Uh, Fill it in here and put the um, centerboard trunk in. Yeah. Day seven and I'm dog tired. <laughs> All the wires are out. The transom and the bow. Filleted all the planking. Got the centerboard casing in. She's starting to take shape now. Looking good. <clears throat> All the insides glassed up the first board. Give that a bit of a sand, flip it over, and we'll glass the bottom today. Day eight. Masked up, ready for the glass on the bottom yep glass is on wet it out just going to trim it off now how many clamps do you need <laughs> one more than you've got just taking all the clamps off um, here's the laminated there's two pieces of uh, Celery top pine laminated along there for the gunnel. They gave me this um, Maranti to use, but um, boys had some celery top here. So I've used celery top. Now I'll just, um, that, that's how it says to do it in the instructions, but I've got this end grain here on the ply. So I'm gonna try and laminate a piece over the top. And, uh, cover up that end grain should look a bit nicer yep more clamps and I'm just trying to laminate a piece of eighth inch along the top cover up the end grain and uh, I'll take it all off tomorrow see how she goes so far so good <coughs> now I'll just um, trim the excess off Righto, it's coming along all right so far. There's a couple of uh, small bits that need filling, but the top looks good. I'll see if I can uh, bugger it up completely and roll the edge over. Okay, that's come up all right. We've got a nice rounded profile on that. Should, um, should come up a nice yellow when it's varnished. Um, now, I'll just, I've got a little bit more celery top over here, and I'll uh, trace these knees that they gave me. They gave me, um, Miranti, so I'll cut some knees out of this celery top pine. Okay, so I've cut the knees out and epoxied them in. Got a couple of cleats on the centerboard case. These things were pretty tricky because there's all sorts of different angles on them. Um, not like they come out of the packet. So they should sand up all right. There's another day down. 
Okay, the knees are in. Um, starting to look a bit like a boat now, isn't it? I'll flip it over and put a keel and some skids on. Righto, so got the keel on and the skids. They're looking all right. Looks like they're um, a bit out of line from some, from some angles, but they're pretty good. Cookie's been working on my tiller here. New tiller for some parade, which is a bloody ripper. Have a look at that. The old one delaminated. Okay, so today I'm gonna uh, flip it over and start on the seats. He's going for it on the oar. She's coming along very nicely. Look at that. It's a beautiful paddle. The seat supports are in. I'm gonna pull the seats out this morning and finish them. Uh, the, the thwarts have only been just tacked in. So I'll pull the seats out and varnish those and finish installing the seat thwarts. Total of one day's work here. Look at this shaft, <laughs> celery top pine shaft, tapered, King Billy blade, shaped, spooned from that. Look at that, the master oarsman. Oh, All right, good morning. Seat warts are in and filleted as you can see. Uh, Glass them in underneath with uh, some tape so they're good and strong. Epoxied up the seats. I'll put them in, just put them in temporary this morning and we'll cut her in half. Oh my god. Here we go. Is that the right place, Rob? Oh no! <laughs> Should have been here! Ah, <laughs> shit! So uh, here we go, the final cut's about That's to it. happen. And the boat will be ready to take in half. That's cut in half. That's cut in half. Let's see if it worked. There she is, nested. That's the nested boat, and that's how it should be sitting on the foredeck with this end forward. 